Welcome to this time out with Marcus Ekure. Yeah, we've been on the series um, Business Without Capital and uh, trying to demystify some mysteries about uh, business. Why people are not succeeding in business. Uh, a few days ago, we released some broadcast where we talked about, you know, um, the difference between being in business and being in business. You know, um, what you don't know is bigger than you. So information is the hub and the hallmark of life. Now, I did say the other time that there are principles, fundamental principles, there are laws that govern every success you see. Every result you see has a principle, has a law governing it. And if you want to achieve any kind of success or result, you have to look out for the principles or the laws governing such kind of result that you see. Now, today in this short video, you know, I want us to throw a little more light on the various kinds of capital. You know, I, I did uh, uh, tell us in our last uh, uh, broadcast where we spoke on various kinds of capital that I'm going to come uh, 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 expatiate more in subsequent videos. Now, we mentioned four kinds of capital where we talked about uh, capital number one being the fiat currencies as the money, uh, money uh, uh, capital. Then we talked about uh, spiritual capital. We talked about sweat capital and goodwill capital. Now, quickly, I've already explained what money capital is all about. That's the fiat currency. And the mistake many of us make in business today is to think that what you need to start a business is money capital. No, money cap capital is important, but it's not the ultimate. It's just a microscopic part of capital. There's another kind of capital that is much more valuable and important with which you can start any kind of business at all. Now, spiritual capital. Now, you believe that life itself, everything about this life, you know, uh, is being controlled first in the spirit. The spirit controls the physical. There's so much happening in the spirit. Now, you talk of great psychologists, people like Sigmund Freud, people like uh, uh, Plato, Aristotle, and uh, the Socrates. All these people believe that there is uh, 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 an invisible force that controls the physical. And I'm talking about spirituality, whether you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, any kind of religion you believe, every religion has a spiritual base. That's the invisible in attachment. Now, it is the spirit that controls the physical. Now, for every result you see today, whether in business, in anything you do, there is a spiritual force propelling something somewhere. There is a spirit behind every success. That is the truth. Now, some people you see in the business world, secular business world out there, who are uh, doing very well in business, some of them are occultic. And there are some level of sacrifices they operate that gives them some kind of result that they, they, they get. Now, so when you talk about spiritual capital here, spiritual capital is all about the, the spiritual facility that you have at your disposal. Now, as a Christian, you know, there's spirituality too. Now, the reason many Christians get it wrong and they fail is that they just think that God is a gentleman and God is God that anything goes for God. No, it's not like that. Now, if an occultic businessman could bury 500 cows just to get to some level of success or prosperity in his business. What about you who is a Christian? Now, one of the fundamental spiritual capital in business, you know, is tight, related to tithing. Sometimes when pastors tell you to pay tight, some of us just think, oh, this pastor is a scam or is a scammer. Now, you are not paying tight actually to help your pastor. The reason you pay tight is for growth, some, for some level of growth in your business, to achieve prosperity in your business, to achieve protection in your business. Now, certain things will go wrong in your business. Perhaps someone may just defraud you. It may happen to other persons who are not tighter, and that money is lost forever. But for you who is a tighter, God gives a shield and a defense around your business so that when such a thing happens to you, because you have spiritual capital, God creates a defense for you and somehow you just see yourself realizing or recovering the money back. So that's how it works. So spiritual capital gives you defense in your business. So no matter how good you are in business, you must have a spiritual backup. 
So that is it. Now the other path to spiritual uh, to this spiritual capital that we may not really, for want of time, we may not go deep into. So that is spiritual capital. Now the sweat capital, sweat capital is all about the part of the effort. You who is the owner of the business, you deploy, you invest in the business. That's your sweat capital. Now, one of the reasons many businesses fail, many people fail in business today is that the parts they are supposed to put in their physical hard work, their effort to do, they want to use money to do everything. And at the end of the day, you just find out that you are just struggling in business because you'll be depleting the profit, which is the productivity you are supposed to be making in the business. You'll be wasting it unknowingly to you. And at the end of the day, you just find out that you are in business and not business. Because what your hand is supposed to do, you want to pay people to do everything for you. Now, let's take a very good example. You are going into a boutique business. You are just starting the boutique business, not even up to a month, but you have employed three sales girls in the boutique. Where actually you yourself, you can actually do what this sales girl will be doing. What is there? Then you are now paying three persons, three sales girls. And for each sales girl, it's like 10 wahala, 10 troubles. Because you'll steal your, your, your goods and sell. Security becomes a big problem. Now, you would have, assuming you are paying 20000 to each of them, which is 60000 that 60000 you would have as well saved it for the prosperity and the success of your business by doing some of all these things yourself. Many of us, we are quick to become a madam. You just get a very beautiful office when somebody comes to buy something. Oh, is somebody looking for madam? And madam is here, madam, oga, madam, oga. So, sweat capital is all about things you can do with your time, contribution you can make to the business from your own end, your efforts. That is what sweat capital is all about. Now, it helps you to prosper your business. With that sweat capital, you can start a business with it without having to look for cash. But many of us have become so lazy today, which is part of the, you know, a, a, a sad, the sad part of the story, part of the dilemma we are facing. Now, 